Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital recap for Thursday, January 25, shows that Robert Scorpio attempted to treat Diane Miller to a romantic evening at the Savoy, but she demanded an apology first because he had bloated so openly about Sonny Corintho's defeat. Robert did not apologize for treating Sonny like the criminal he is, but Diane believed Robert had an unprofessional grudge against her client. Diane questioned whether Robert could accept Sonny as one of her closest pals. Diane noted that Robert was able to overlook many of Anna Devane's, Vanola Hughes, and Holly Sutton's previous behaviors. Finally, Robert suggested leaving Sonny and their clients in the courtroom, which Diane grinned and appeared thrilled about. Meanwhile, Sonny saw Alexis Davis at the bar and heard that she'd been attempting to respect Christina Corinthos Davis' limits since she overstepped previously. Sonny believed this was a wonderful thing and told Alexis not to worry because Christina and Molly Lansing Davis were going ahead with their surrogacy plans regardless. TJ Ashford was overjoyed when he found out Christina had a positive pregnancy test. TJ began to worry about getting overly pleased after telling Molly and Christina about the baby, given what had happened the previous time. Christina insisted that no matter what happened, they'd face it together and that she could always try again if and when the expecting parents were ready. Jordan Ashford invited Brick inside and buttered him up a little since she needed someone inconspicuous with digital prowess to assist with the project. Brick flirted with Jordan, who indicated that she had a source who was meant to provide information, but that contact may have ended things owing to federal intervention. Jordan irritated Brick by refusing to provide more information, but he enjoyed the idea that the deputy mayor owed him a favor. Rick intended to look into the contact's whereabouts and required Jordan's phone number, so he appeared glad to get it as he left. Jordan closed the door behind Brick, looking thoughtfully at the flirtatious interaction. Christina, Molly, and TJ had an announcement to make, so Sonny and Alexis arrived with Jordan. When Christina announced the pregnancy, Alexis claimed that she was thrilled for everyone. Before Alexis could help celebrate with a bottle of non-alcoholic bubbly, she was summoned away for a crisis at work. Sonny told Christina he was proud of her and intimated that she could always come to him because the path ahead would be difficult. Elizabeth Baldwin offered Hamilton Finn another pep talk at GH before Martin Gray arrived as asked for his trial. Martin received updates on Finn and Liz's interactions with the doctor that Mr. Muldoon saw in Beach's Corners. Liz and Finn gathered enough information to conclude that Mr. Muldoon spoke with an oncologist, but they did not know his identity. Martin decided to have Sal McCall look into it, saying that if Mr. Muldoon already knew about Finn's disease, it would help his case. After mentioning Finn's future testimony, Martin emphasized the significance of merely addressing the questions posed. Liz stated that the boys were having sleepovers tonight, so she asked Finn over for food and music. At the PCPD, Laura Collins briefed Harrison Chase and Dante Falconeri the facts of her conversation with Heather Weber. Laura insisted on arresting Esm Prince, but Dante could not do so without a warrant. Dante eventually persuaded an ADA to begin working on one and proposed a plan to buy some time until Robert could revive the charges against Esme. If Dante could get Esme down there on false pretenses and get her to confess to her prior crimes, they might be able to keep her for 24 hours until Robert came through for them. Laura insisted on containing Esme and hoped to talk her down from the ledge. After Dante, Chase and Laura began seeking for Esme, they eventually arrived at the invader. Laura became alarmed when she saw Kevin Collins, John Lindstrom, unresponsive, but she discovered a pulse as they waited for an ambulance. Esm immediately became the prime suspect in the attack on Kevin as Chase discovered the sculpture used to hit him, along with a note from Maggie Fitzgerald. That letter from Esm's former nanny stated that Maggie had gotten a position with a new family in Toronto, and Esm's credit card information revealed that she had booked a one-way bus ticket there. 
Alexis answered Chase's queries as Kevin was brought to the hospital, where a doctor informed Laura that he was stable. Laura shed tears when she visited Kevin's bedside and begged him to return to her. Laura also left a voicemail encouraging Spencer to return her call concerning Esmond and questioned Dante about the Toronto hints. According to General Hospital teasers, Essen will continue to cause havoc, so stay tuned for updates on the drama that is developing. CDL is the place to go for amazing General Hospital spoilers, updates, and news, so make us your favorite GH destination. General Hospital spoilers for Friday, January 26 state that Elizabeth Baldwin will be hopeful ahead of Hamilton Finn's trial after Martin Gray promised to put Sam McCall to work for them. It would strengthen Finn's case if Sam could locate the mysterious oncologist linked to Mr. Muldoon. That could indicate that Mr. Muldoon was already aware of his cancer when he came to see Finn. However, Sam won't have much time to find this physician, which could be the problem. Liz will inquire if Sam discovered any new information that could affect the case, but the trial may have to proceed while Sam continues to look for answers. Regardless of how things turn out with Sam, Finn will eventually take the stand on Friday's episode, which will be nerve-wracking. Martin has stressed the significance of merely answering the questions posed, therefore Finn is likely to become uncomfortable and say too much. It might give Diane Miller an opportunity to turn things around and make Finn appear less sympathetic. Next, Harrison Chase will inform Jordan Ashford that if Esmond Prince, Avery Pohl, is hiding somewhere, they have the address to find her. A note from Maggie Fitzgerald was discovered at the Invader, indicating that she wanted Esm to come see her in Toronto. There is also evidence that Esm purchased a Toronto bus ticket, but doesn't it all seem a little too convenient? We know Esm is going to Paris someday, so there are two alternatives here. One is that Esm will pay Maggie a visit on the way there, and the other is that the whole affair is a ruse. In other words, Esma may be leading the cops on a wild goose chase so she can focus on Spencer Cassadine and Trainer Robinson without hindrance. Once Trainer and Spencer arrive in Paris, they'll have some romantic moments before settling in. Spencer obviously refuses to check his voicemail, thus he will first miss Laura Collins' urgent message. Laura will express some remorse back in Port Charles. Laura may believe she placed too much trust in Esme and neglected the genuine possibility that her destructive side will resurface. Laura will eventually meet with Anna Devane and insist that she is the next most qualified candidate. Anna has already served as police commissioner. Will she return on an interim basis while Max Scorpio is away? Other GH spoilers state that Sonny Corinthos will discuss some plans with Ava Jerome, which may include something fun for Avery and Donna Corinthos, or something more serious. Ava is staying with Sonny for her own security, so he may discuss strategies to identify and kill the threat. Brick will also speak with Sonny and inquire if Nina Corinthos is added to a specific list, so he may fish to see whether Nina is still in the circle of protection. Of course, Sonny will continue to look out for Nina regardless of their marital issues. It would be out of character for Sonny to just feed Nina to the wolves, but that doesn't guarantee he'll be ready to reclaim her yet. Valentin Cassadine will meet with Nina at Charlie's pub to get an update on all of her losses, including Crimson, as a result of Drew Kane and Carly Spencer's current round of payback. Valentin will ask Nina what her strategy is for reclaiming what is rightfully hers, and since she is unlikely to have one yet, he will provide a way for Nina to exact her own retribution. According to General Hospital teasers, Nina and Valentin will reach an agreement soon, so stay tuned for more sizzling drama. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.